Today in the news, AMD leaks their next feature by accident, Intel gives us some good nuggets about ARC GPUs, and we got a goop trap. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. One of the biggest struggles that this company has to deal with when compared to its competitors is, well, its size. But at least they're growing fast. Intel is the biggest by far with over 100,000 employees, and Nvidia is about 30 to 40% bigger than AMD with just over 22,000 employees. The big difference here being that AMD does everything, whereas Nvidia is just slightly more specialized. So companies like Intel and Nvidia can dedicate a lot of resources into specific innovations for consumers. AMD is never far behind though, and today they made a tiny little mistake and accidentally leaked their next feature to compete with Nvidia. It's called AMD Noise Suppression and you guessed it, it's basically the AMD equivalent of RTX voice. Now, excuse the low res video, but this is what was leaked. It enhances audio powered by a real time deep learning algorithm. It's actually gonna work exactly like RTX voice. It creates an input and an output channel where you can direct the noise suppression. It says that it works across various apps and games, but if it behaves anything like RTX voice, it should work with pretty much anything. Now, as you can see, this was leaked, meaning that the feature isn't available just yet. But given that it's part of the Adrenaline software, that's basically AMD's driver and software suite, then it should be rolling out in the next major update. Personally, I love to see this. FSR 2.0, combating DLSS. AMD noise suppression against RTX voice. All we need now is something similar to all of the other RTX broadcast features like background removal and blurring, video noise reduction, uh, auto frame, etc etc obviously since this is on the adrenaline software it won't work across brands like on an Intel or Nvidia GPU but I hope that AMD makes it available to as many of their products as possible what are your thoughts on this let me know down below then we got Intel in the news. Tom Peterson and Ryan Trout from the company have been making the YouTube rounds with their ARC GPUs, and thankfully, they're giving us some good news. There were a lot of notable moments in these videos. You should go check them out on the Linus Tech Tips and Gamers Nexus channels, but a couple of specific things were said and they are a relief to hear. First, Tom said, and I quote, We're gonna kill everyone. That can't be right. In price to performance. That's really good to hear because it has been my main concern with ARC the entire time. According to current leaks, their entire lineup should be below $400. The leaked slide from WCCF Tech is still a little concerning because the price scale looks like you're getting a 280 to like $380 GPU for the performance of a 3060 to 3060 Ti. So that means that they're matching a two year old part while consuming more power and the next generation is coming right up. So not super good news, but it brings me to my second point. Intel will base their pricing on tier three performance. Basically, titles that are optimized and that run well to work with ARC, well, this is tier one. Tier two is DX12 and Vulkan titles that should work well with ARC GPUs, and tier three is DX11 and older titles that don't necessarily work super well with ARC. So if Intel is saying that they're basing their pricing on tier three performance levels, then it could be a good value. Like the A750, which is supposed to uh, compete with A30, 60 could either sort of match it in performance in some games, tier three games, and completely obliterate it in others where Intel has done optimizations. In my opinion, I still think that it's a bit of a, you know, a rose colored view of things. It's all based on Intel's internal testing. So we'll have to wait for something like a hardware unboxed mega benchmark again. They do these with like 45 games, it's insane. So what are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below. Lastly, let's talk about Ryzen 7000. AMD released a picture of their new processor in its socket, and I gotta say, it looks pretty cool. They really just wanted to remind us of some of the features of the AM5 platform, but this also raised a couple of minor concerns. Well, actually one about the design. I mean, these channels really look like thermal paste traps. It probably won't be an issue for consumers. I mean, how many times do you really remove your cooler for thermal paste reapplication? But for reviewers, this is gonna be a bit 
interesting. I'll have to ask uh, Hardware Canucks if they got concerns on that. Maybe you could, I don't know, jam some clay in there? I don't know. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. You can click right here to see a game-changing keyboard. I'm actually going to review another one that's kind of similar fairly soon, so stay tuned for that. And right here to subscribe. Stay frosty, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.